Dear friends, I happen to see an amazing short video film on the YouTube. As the scene opens, it is in a mud road near a hut in a very hilly, undeveloped area. And the camera focuses on some little chicks and mother hen pecking away. Everything was peaceful and heartwarming. That's when we hear the rumbling and growling of an elephant, a mad elephant. A lonely elephant is always dangerous. That elephant was coming, huge thing was coming near. The mother hen saw the danger. And in a rage, the mother hen jumped up and gave a hard hit on the trunk of the big animal. And elephant looked for a moment, staring at the mother hen, and rumbled and growled again and turned back and went away. I spoke about this short video film because today is the feast of the holy innocence. The innocents, little babes killed, massacred by the mad king Herod. Herod was insecure when he heard from the Magi that a new king is born for the Jews. Herod became mad and was bitter and angry, insecure, and he commanded the innocents to be massacred to make sure of his kingdom, of his crown. And what is happening today around us? In the animals, there is a very strong instinct, a very strong instinct to protect the kids, the babes. A powerful instinct given to the mothers, an animal would never kill its own babe. Whatever circumstances, whatever inconveniences, a mother would give its life, sacrifice its life, and mother will become powerful and bold and even violent when it comes to the protection of its babies. There is an instinct given to animals. Whatever happened to us, human beings of this generation, abortions reported every day. According to the calculation of WHO, World Health Organization, 56 million abortions are done safe. WHO calls it safe. Safe and legal abortions happening in our clinics and hospitals. And WHO calculates, according to their es estimate, some 25 million unsafe illegal abortions are also taking place. And that means one year, 81 million abortions taking place. And that means 81 holy Innocents are massacred every year. And that means in one minute, 154 innocent lives are killed. By the time I complete this seven minutes sharing, 1,078 children would have been killed all over the world. Whatever happened to us, humans, in this generation, 
when a child becomes inconvenient for us. A child could cause a little discomfort problem for us. Whenever a child we feel not welcome, we just decide to kill that child. That's exactly what Herod, that big animal did. That's what he did. Massacred in a sense. And you and I shall know uh, life is not is not made by us. A father and mother do not create life. Life is given by God. Every act of God is for salvation. Life is a direct gift of God to a man and a woman. But then, when that life becomes inconvenient, we just cut it out. I love the doctors. Doctors are ready, unfortunately. Hospitals are prepared to cut the baby in the womb and, and throw it out in pieces. 81 million abortions taking place every year. It is for us to pray and meditate on this day. This day of the Feast of the Holy Innocence. That children may be protected. Unfortunately, we are living in a culture where children are not safe. People who are grown up for their own kick of the flesh, they use children. And what a terrible damage they are doing to the growth of these children. The holy innocents should intercede for us. This 81 million innocents massacred and reaching heaven every year should intercede for us. The holy innocents killed for the sake of the life of Jesus should intercede for us. That we may have a respect for life. The life should be protected at any cost. No life shall be looked at as an inconvenience, as a burden to be eliminated for my comfort, for my plans for the future. A mother having a job does not want to have a problem in the place of job, does not want to lose the job, and they were killed, the baby conceived. Whatever other circumstances, I'm not blaming anyone here, but, but there is a terrible problem occurs coming upon our generation, the curse of massacring innocents. And today, we pray that all these holy innocents in heaven may intercede before God, that we humans may have a heart to love and respect life. 